the gas station encounters intersection. One of the most dangerous intersections in the world. Just because that light turns green doesn't mean you should go. And as you can see, they just got the green arrow, so that means they good. Oh, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Probably should have focused more on slamming on your brakes as opposed to laying on the horn as it was your fault, little buddy. Come on now, all right, what are you doing? Get out of the intersection, now you're just blocking it up. Yep, pull forward, all right, good job, little buddy. All right, Jasper, come on, bring her back, bring her back, you're good. There's no cars coming, yep. Keep her coming, nice and steady, yep. Keep her coming, keep her coming. Okay, you're swinging a little little too early, little buddy. Yep, you're cutting a little too early. Uh, oh, all right, uh, we might be good. You might, you might just, yeah, uh, all right. Yeah, you're just dragging up against the side. We, we should be good, yep. Keep her coming, keep her coming. Yep, all right, there we go. Oh, well, would you look at these jack wagons? Don't know how to drive, clearly you're gonna take on that sign. What are you guys doing? Who gave you your CDL? I think it's time to go back to school because you guys clearly haven't learned anything. I could do that with my eyes closed. These young whippersnappers, they just don't know how to drive anymore. All right, Jasper, I think you're good. All right, yeah, you are up against that sign, but uh, you should be good just to pull her straight. Yep, I'm gonna jump right in here. All right, yep, once I close this door, just pull her straight. Yep, there we go. Now here we have what I call light pole number one. Now, light pole number one, he's just standing there, minding his own business, being a good little light pole, enjoying the nice 30 degree weather we've been having, and unfortunately for him, his day is about to take a turn for the worse. Oh, just a little bump, little bump. He's leaning now like a cholo, about 25 degrees closer to falling over. It's okay though, we'll fix him and this will never happen again. Now here we have what I call light pole number two. Not to be confused with light pole number one or light pole number three right there, although they are brothers, so it's understandable. So he's just standing there, enjoying another day in the life of the light pole, taking in the scenery, checking out that Challenger Hellcat right there until this stupid truck and trailer got in his way. Now he's just worried about whether or not he's gonna get blasted like his little brother. Paul, he didn't deserve that. It's okay though, we'll fix him right up and this will definitely never happen again. Now here we're gonna be paying attention to this Lexus that's about to be pulling in. Yeah, that's pretty nice. We're also gonna be paying attention to this Tesla. Yeah, that's one of the smartest cars ever made right there. Elon, I thought it was supposed to be smarter than that. What's going on? And now this truck can't pull in, so he's just got to leave and miss out on all the delicious beverages he was going to purchase. Now, I feel like this happens to me a lot, but have you ever been driving and you see another driver do something really dumb, like pull out into one-way oncoming traffic and think, where is Sheriff Woody when these morons are on the road? He's never around. Now here you're going to see the white beamer do the smart thing, and that's hesitate before going through this death trap. But uh oh, the guy behind her is in a hurry. Yeah, you better be thanking your lucky stars, Mr. White Ford Fusion, because if she didn't hesitate, that would have been you. Now, what are the chances the next vehicle coming down the road is this guy who's been waiting his whole life to turn on his little yellow hazard light? Come on down, little buddy. It's your time to shine. So, he's going to get out of his vehicle, and he's going to check on both drivers, make sure they're okay, because, you know, he's a gentleman. Now, let's watch this again in slow motion and break it down from a fundamental standpoint. So the white beamer gets the left hand turn signal to head eastbound and as you can see everybody heading westbound is stopping because they do in fact have a red light. Meanwhile the black Hyundai is barreling down a right turn only lane straight through a green arrow and shabanga bang. Now let's put the king dinglings to use and check out the damage. Beesh, beesh. Yep, just as I suspected, both cars are damaged. She gone! 
Now here we have a tanker delivery and he's got to awkwardly go around this couple that's trying to change their tire right there. So he's going to have to do some maneuvering before he can drop our big fat load and oh look, there's my sister-in-law Crystal. Hey Crystal, how you doing Crystal? So he's going to continue pulling forward trying to maneuver into position to drop that big fat load and unfortunately the motorcycle thinks he's leaving so he pulls right up behind him. Now, luckily, he was not injured. The bike might have got a few scratchers, but with the help of some good Samaritans, he gets his bike right back up, and he's ready to keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Now, here you'll see a silver Kia that belongs to one of our really good customers and a Dodge Ram that is apparently being driven by Helen Keller. And now the moment of contemplation. Uh, should I stay here and exchange insurance information with that poor fella, or should I hurry up and make this green light? Oh, sorry, little buddy. Guess I'm gonna have to pull the old hit and run a rooski. She gone. Now right here we got ourselves a good old fashioned fender bender. Gas Station Encounters presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius! Today we salute you, Mr. Bud Light Delivery Driver. Mr. Bud Light Delivery Driver! While Miller and Coors drivers laugh and make fun of you for working for Anaheuser Bush, you embrace it yes you do with sales plummeting and the chance of being laid off at any moment you still deliver beer with a smile on your face oh looking good official beer of the ufc and partner of comedy legend shane gillis who's laughing now miller cores my guess is kid rock so this video's for you mr bud light delivery driver because without you, this video would be one minute shorter. Mr. Bud Light Delivery Driver! Now let's look at the damage. Just as I suspected, Hyundai Driver. Now in this video, we're gonna show you how not to pull into the gas station. say mo to the run well would you look at that light pole number one looking good as new just standing there straight as can be hoping he doesn't get blasted by another truck again yeah! and we couldn't leave his brother hanging look at light pole number two he's as good as new Fresh out of a six month hospital visit, he's happy to be home. We weren't sure he was gonna make it, but he pulled through and thank God his health insurance covered the bill cause I don't know how we were gonna pay for it. Now I don't know what this semi thinks he's doing, but he did not swing it wide enough to pull off that U-turn. What are you thinking, little buddy? Are you stupid? Now here we have two really good customers, the Hyundai that's about to pull in and the Lincoln that's about to pull out. So Garrett is going to get out of the vehicle and take a look at the damage and yeah, that's a pretty bad damage, son of a...
Well, that seems like quite the predicament. So after about 25 minutes or so, he ends up getting out and pulling some shenanigans to tighten down the front of that truck, and like a boss... Now, let's take a look at that damage. Oh, okay, not that bad, just small enough to not tell anybody what happened. Now, there is no accident in this video, but I would be surprised if this guy doesn't cause one in the near future, because holy cow, that is a lot of exhaust. That cannot be good for the environment. And as you can see, this guy sees it, and he's trying to hurry in before the fall gets him. Hurry up, little buddy, hurry before it gets you. No! All right, you guys, place your bets now. Which car is going to get hit? Number one, two, or three? Congratulations to those of you that picked car number two. Make sure you stop in the gas station bathroom and claim your prize of free toilet paper and paper towels. Now we have quite the quagmire here. The Beamer wants to get behind the van, but that white Ford Fusion wants to pull into the gas station. So the van's going to pull forward. The Beamer is going to back up back into the parking lot. Let the Ford Fusion come in and the Beamer is going to whip it wide behind the van again. She's going to reverse and straighten it out. Yep. And she is good to go. Just sitting there patiently waiting for that green arrow to turn. And unfortunately for her, no Beamer in today's video is safe. And now, the grand finale. Now here we have an innocent little baby Nissan Altima, also known as Shamu, pulling into the vacant restaurant parking lot next door. Now, a mother is driving and the car is filled with kids. Now, I'm not exactly sure what they're doing here, but unfortunately, Shamu could not make the jump off of the beach. How did I do this? Dang it, I'm totally stuck on this curb. I don't know how I'm gonna get off of it. How could I beach my whale? Oh, dang it. Well, kids, I'm really sorry. I don't know what to do. Unless some random strangers decide to come help us, we could be stuck here for quite some time. I'm sorry, kids. Kia support team to the rescue. Come on. Let's go! Hustle! We got a key in down! Oh, no, it's not a key, it's a Nissan, but we're gonna help her anyways! Push! Push! Oh, no! I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it by pushing, man! We're gonna have to try something different! Come on, guys! We gotta get this little Nissan out of here! Let's take this rug, let's stick it under the tire, and maybe we'll get some traction! Alright, let's slip it under there, okay, alright now! Make sure you push down on it, alright, ma'am! Let her rip! Let her rip! Come on! Ah, dang it! Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. We failed you. But the good news is if you walk down a key with me right now, I can get you a brand new Telluride. Zero dollars down, zero percent interest. How does that sound? No? Okay. Oh, thank you, sweet, innocent baby Jesus. You have answered our prayers. A good Samaritan has come to help. Don't worry, ma'am. We can get you out any second now. Every day, all across America, these brave young men risk their lives saving innocent Kias and Nissans one vehicle at a time. They are the Kia Support Team. <laughs>